This band knows that life is beautiful around the world. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the history of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Can't stop addicted to the shindig. Chop top, it says I'm gonna win big. Alternative rock band Red Hot Chili Peppers formed in Los Angeles, California in 1983. Consisting of vocalist Anthony Kiedis, guitarist Josh Klinghoffer, bassist Michael Flea Balzeri, and drummer Chad Smith, the group went through several member changes before reaching that lineup. After playing local shows, the band was discovered by EMI, and they released their self-titled debut in 1984. The funk rock record received college radio airplay and rotation on MTV. Their sophomore effort, 1985's Freaky Styly, mixed the genres of punk and funk. Though the Red Hot Chili Peppers were more satisfied with this album, mainstream success continued to evade them. As the band members grew increasingly addicted to drugs, they released the Uplift Mofo Party Plan in 1987. Like, like The album was their first to chart on the Billboard 200. A year later, the band's original guitarist, Hillel Slovak, died from a drug overdose and was ultimately replaced by John Cushante. Shortly thereafter, Chad Smith replaced departed drummer, Jack Irons. The Chili Peppers' next album was 1989's Mother's Milk. With more focus on melody as opposed to rhythm, it gave the band their first taste of global success. The effort also generated the modern rock hit Knock Me Down and the Stevie Wonder cover Higher Ground. The single Taste the Pain was also featured on the Say Anything movie soundtrack. But how the the album Blood Sugar Sex Magic dropped in 1991. Hitting the third position on the Billboard 200, it became one of the most influential albums to come out of the 90s alternative rock scene. The well-received record turned the band into international rock stars. It also spawned several successful singles, like the Grammy-winning Give It Away, Give it away and the number two hit, Under the Bridge. The band's popularity grew so much that Frusciante quit in the middle of the subsequent tour. He was replaced with Dave Navarro, whose first and only album with the Red Hot Chili Peppers was 1995's One Hot Minute. Featuring more heavy metal guitar riffs, the darker sounding record received mixed reviews. It contained singles such as Aeroplane and My Friends. My friend, and this was their third number one on the modern rock chart. In 1996, the Chili Peppers released a cover of the Ohio Players song Love Roller Coaster from the Beavis and Butthead Do America film soundtrack. Then, after spending some time on tour, the Red Hot Chili Peppers replaced Navarro with Frusciante in 1998. The group's next album was 1999's Californication. With more melodic guitar riffs, the critically acclaimed disc reached the third spot on the Billboard chart and was their most commercially successful effort to date. It yielded singles such as the popular title track, the number one modern rock song, Other Side, how long, how long will I slide? and the Grammy-winning tune, Scar Tissue. Scar Tissue that I wish you saw, saw Captain Mr. Know It. That same year, they embarked on a world tour and they released their first concert DVD, Off the Map, in 2001. The next year, the band came out with By the Way. The, 
That album had more ballads and less rap-propelled funk jams than previous efforts and peaked at number two. Though it was a bit of a departure for the Chili Peppers, it still produced numerous hits, including Can't Stop and the title cut. In 2006, the double album Stadium Arcadium was released. Not only did the disc premiere at number one on the Billboard 200, but it also became the best-selling album of that year. It won multiple Grammys and contained successful singles such as Tell Me Baby, Snow Heyo, and Danny California. After another world tour that ended in 2007, the Red Hot Chili Peppers went on hiatus to work on personal projects. Two years later, Josh Klinghoffer replaced Prashante on guitar, and the band began work on their 10th record. I'm With You was released in 2011, and its first single was the song The Adventures of Raindance Maggie. Known for their fun live shows and their alternative rock style that mixes funk, punk and rap, the Red Hot Chili Peppers have certainly made a solid name for themselves in the world of rock music. So as long as we stay together and you know, keep our love for one another and our love for the music, there's no way that we're going to fail.